So we're going to open Game Center. See, it's just going to check for updates. It's not going to work. Nothing happens. All right, so we're going to go ahead and close that. So here is how to get the Game Center to work. The first thing you're going to need is the Tor browser, which you can find here. So you click Download, and then click the Windows icon, and it'll start the download process to get the file. I already have installed them on this computer, so I don't need to do that. Um, the other thing you're going to need is the Relhax mod pack. Um, currently have this feature in version 2, so you're going to want to go to version 2. And then you're going to want to click this link to download the file. Uh, and then you're going to want to place it wherever you need. Um, once you get that, the other thing that you're going to need um, is the SoxCap64 application, which is here. Um, I already have it installed, but you can get it from this link here. Um, it'll also be in the description. If you only if you only need this for peer-to-peer, -peer, you don't need this part. But for this specific um, circumstance, we're going to use it anyways just to show it. <clears throat> so, once you get the... Oh, let's clear out all of this. So, once you get the mod pack installed or downloaded, just go ahead and open it. Agree to all this stuff. So you're going to want to click Diagnostic Utilities, Download Word Gaming Patch Files, select a client, which in this case is going to be World Tanks. Uh, I would note that this is compatible with World Tanks, World of Warships, and World of Warplanes. So we're going to go ahead and click Next. We're going to note, note that all, everything that we need here for the uh, Git request is here. So go ahead and click Next. We need to go and close the Game Center for this to work. All right, the application will detect when the game is closed. So now we just got the update information of all the files that we need to download. And it's going to download them and put them into the correct directory where the uh, Game Center will try to find them. All right, before we set the proxy, we also want to uh, go ahead and launch the Tor browser. So open up the Tor browser, click Start Tor browser. Uh, open up SoxCap. Uh, don't click on the update, just ignore it. Ignore that one as well. So we're going to want to go to Apps, add an executable, profile name, you can call it whatever. And now we're going to browse to the Wargaming uh, Game Standard directory. Now note this is where it's installed by default. Um, and you're going to want to get the exe for this to work. So you do that. There are no start params for it. Then you want to set a proxy. What you're going to want to do is you would click add a new proxy. It's going to dump it here. So you want to put the address as this here, the port as this. And then if you right click to test it, it should say that it works. At that point, you click save, highlight the application, and click run. All right, let's go ahead and pause that. We're going to pause that. Go ahead and grab the updates for World Tanks. And you'll notice that it doesn't say downloading, it just says installing. So all we got to do is wait for this to finish. There we go. I'm just going to quickly show that this works with a, a, a different client, just for the sake of showing it. <clears throat> 